Hey everyone, Chris Dick here. We're uh, continuing on our lessons with uh, WinSCP and uh, Hadoop and Putty, um, how they all work together. And uh, what we're going to focus on right now is some of the command line um, tools that you could use. Uh, we're going to focus first of all on uh, Putty for an example. Uh, I'm going to load up my session here in Putty. Now, what we always want to understand here is that we are working with a system that is not our local system. So this thing right here has nothing to do with our local system. All right. When we load up WinSCP, um, this was our profile that we created in our last video. If I load that up, it will bring up my a local directory that I'm using for uh, information that's stored on my own computer. But I'm also looking at, on the right side, I'm looking at uh, all of the files and folders that I create on the remote computer uh, that interacts with our Hadoop sessions. Okay, so in order to work with this system, what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to create a new file. So you right click on this folder and I'm going to create it on our local system for a moment. I'm going to call this example.txt. Okay. Now, I'm just going to type some text in. This is an example text file. All right. Close it like that. It'll ask me to save it. And I say yes. Okay. Now, right now, that file exists right here. Okay. If I look, uh, if I just maximize that you'll see it's G Hadoop which is on my G drive but in a folder called Hadoop okay I created example.txt it's right there now this is a drag and drop interface so I can really easily just drag it over here and make a copy of it so it now exists in two places they're two separate files now okay now when we use uh, putty all right putty is on two notes we are going to be directly able to work with this system but uh, I am also able to work with the HDFS it's the Hadoop file system okay so if I do, uh, do type ls as our command line here it will bring me up um, all the files that exist in this folder okay now if I in turn go to look at my Hadoop file system okay, using the same command. Now notice the similarities here. I'm, I'm, I'm using ls, but all the, the Hadoop file system commands have to start with Hadoop space fs space dash and then the command. So they're all the same here that you would uh, use up here as you would use here. Okay, so if I do that Right now, I have nothing on my Hadoop file system, so it's totally empty, okay? I'm going to create a folder, and I'm going to call that folder input, okay? We use this command called mkdir, okay, D-I-R, and just so everybody knows, you should get familiar with this page here. It is the documentation for uh, Hadoop, uh, or at least it's, Hapache, uh, it's, it's Apache's, uh, command line listing. Okay, if I go down here in this list, I look for mkdir. Okay, it brings me to this. Let's just make that a little bigger for us. Um, it shows us the usage Hadoop fs dash mkdir. Okay. Um, the we're not going to worry about the options for this right now, but we're going to look at uh, how to create a folder right now. Okay, so. If I want to create a folder, I'm going to call it input in this case. So we do mkdir input, all right? And then instead of me retyping, I, I, I like to just cursor up and it'll cursor into the last command I did, okay? So it'll cursor up all the way until the, the full last command. So here I have uh, Hadoop fs dash ls, and I'm going to list my Hadoop folder system again and I should have input available now so there I have input okay now 
what we're going to do, sometimes there's, there's a lot of times when you want to copy a file from our local system. And remember, guys, uh, local system is here, not here. This is our, our, our local computer, but this is the system that, that is actually in, interacting with the IM Demo Cloud uh, Hadoop system. Okay, so in that way, I'm going to do this. Copy from local, okay? And I'm going to do this. I'm going to type uh, example.txt. That's the name of the file that, that we're taking it from. Okay. And I'm going to put it into input. This is the folder or directory that it's going to. So if I do that, okay, it's now copied it over into uh, the input on the Hadoop file system. Okay. How do I know that? Well, we're going to just test that out. Okay. Okay. And we have one item in, that's there. It's the input. And then we want to do slash input. Oops. Just like that. Okay. So what we did there was we asked for the directory listing of ls uh, using the input folder. And what you see here is it shows input slash example dot txt okay now that means that because i co copied this over to the hadoop file system um, now i've got three separate copies so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete this file okay it does now it no longer exists okay and what we're going to do now, I'm just cursoring up and I'm going to change. Okay. Uh, I'm going to change that to copy to local. So this is going to take it from the Hadoop file system and put it onto my local file, uh, onto my local drive. Okay. <clears throat> and it's going to look like this. Okay. So um, it should be all we have to do. So copy to local is input slash uh, actually I'm going to do this uh, example.txt okay that'll be the name that it copies over to and because we don't have any directory information um, where it's just going to copy right here into this uh, into this root folder okay so copy that over oops I'm going to do that one more time here okay Okay, let's uh, refresh, and now it's right here. Okay, now I don't know what this message is right now, uh, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. It, it. it seems to have worked. Perhaps it just it was that I was uh, doing things and wasting time. Um, but nonetheless, let's do that one more time here, just so that we uh, so that we can know what uh, what actually worked. Okay, so I'm going to delete it again. We'll just so everybody knows, okay. We we'll push enter, okay. And I'll probably have to look into what this what this warning means, but it's probably something quite simple. And we we'll refresh, and it's there, okay. I'll load that up, and you can see that it's the same file that we copied uh, over before, okay. Now, the other thing that we want to be able to do is uh, remove files from the system. So in this case, we do rm-r, okay, dash r is, we're going to go over here and we'll scroll down, okay, rm is the command, okay, dash r is, uh, what it does is it deletes the directory and any content under it recursively and recursively just means that if there's any content within that directory it's not it's just going to delete everything without asking you right so this can be a little dangerous as if you've forgotten whether you've copied something over there you want to be careful that you're not deleting everything okay so <clears throat> going back over here uh, excuse me over here uh, we're going to delete input slash example.txt 
Okay. And the other thing that we're going to do, just so that we don't create extra things, we're going to do this skip trash. Okay. Now, skip trash will bypass the trash system. Okay. If you're familiar with, um, you know, the recycling bin on Windows or on Mac, it's the trash folder. This is the trash folder, right? So it basically gives us a backup system that if we oops and we made a mistake and we have to undelete that file, um, it will move it into the trash folder. So it's not really gone yet, right? But it will save us if something goes wrong. So over here, we'll just go back and I'm gonna push enter. That should delete everything, okay? Deleted input. Now I think that just deleted the file, so we're going to just double check it. Okay, I'm going to go up a few uh, a few commands. I'm going to list input. Okay, and we we do not have an in any files in input. Let's see if the input folder is still exists. Okay, the input folder still exists. Okay, so we're going to delete that now. Okay, and there we have it. Let's uh, do our ls command one more time. Okay, and we have nothing on our Hadoop file system. Okay, the files on our local system, if I take away Hadoop, okay, are still there, right? Now we, we copied that example.txt off the, off the Hadoop and put it onto our local. We still have our desktop and test folders, okay? And uh, that's the majority of things that I'm going to work on right now. Those are the simple, simple file commands that we will likely use most often. As you can see, there's several, okay? There's quite a few that uh, as we move through our lessons, we're going to be looking at them. But I wanted to get started off with some, most, some of the most common ones. Uh, all right. Well, thanks a lot, guys. Um, let's uh, join up into the third session. Uh, coming up soon. Don't forget to like and share and uh, we'll see you very soon guys. Take care.